In this video, we will see how to use report filters. It is possible to apply filters in a query report. You can filter the data in a report to limit the data displayed in a web I document. These filters are called report filters. Report filters are used to hide the data in a table, report, chart or section in a web I document. Note that report filters do not edit the data that is retrieved from the data source. Now let us see the different types of report filters. You can create the following types of report filters, standard report filter and simple report filter. Standard report filters, these filters are used to filter a single value or lists of values and are most flexible type of report filters. Simple report filters, these provide an easy way to create filters using the equal to operator and these filters apply on a single value. Let us go to the SAP BIO system and see how to use report filters. Let's see how we can use the report level filters in Webby. So this is my Webby report where I have year, quarter, month and the sales revenue. So we can create the filters at two different levels. We can cre either create the filters at the query level which will be applied to all my reports under a Webby document. And then we have the report filters. So my report filters are the filters which are applied only to a particular report in my Webby document. So here let's say if I want to create a quick filter here in the report 1. I will go to the analysis tab and here we have the option of adding the report filter. So if I go to the drop down we have this option of add filter. Here it will ask to add the filter and then we have to select the column the object on which we want to apply the filter for. So let's say if I want to apply it for year. Here we have the option of the operators like list in list, not in list, equal to, not equal to. So we can scroll down to see all the different options available here. Let's say if I want to select the in list. Here we have to select the value based on which we want to filter the data. And then we have to click on OK. So now we can see that we have the year 2004 filtered for this report. Now if I want to add more filters to the same report, I can go here and I can click on the add filter again. And then we have to add the filter. Let's say I want to add the filter for the quarter one. So now we have the data filtered for year 2004 and quarter Q1. If we want to edit the filter, so we can simply go back and then we can click on the report we can go to this edit filter here we can change the values of the filter if we want or if we want to remove any filter let's say if I want to remove the filter on this quarter I can go here I can click on this remove filter and then I can click on OK so these are my report level filter which are applied only to this particular report let's say if I have one more report I am duplicating this report. So here I have this report where I have the data for year, quarter, month and the sales revenue and the year is filtered only on 2004 value. Now in report 1 if I change this and if I add the filter for the quarter as well. Let's say if I add the quarter value for quarter 1. I can see that my first report is filtered for year as well as quarter. Now if I go to my second report, I can see that my year data is filtered but not the quarter data. So my report level filter will only impact my report. It will not impact my complete Webby document. So if I want to create a filter which has to be applicable only for the report, we have to create the report level filter. And if we want to create a filter, we should impact my complete Webby document. In that case, we have to go for the query filters. So this is how we can create the report level filters in Webby.
So in this tutorial, we have seen how we can add the filters, how we can remove the filters, how we can edit the report level filters in Webby. Thank you.